good afternoon uh, to everyone and appreciate the time this afternoon spending uh, with myself and uh, Jake, our senior county executive in the Dynamics 365 space. Uh, and as Megan said, I'm the regional account director here for B Technologies. And I'm gonna walk you through kind of a, a short presentation um, on Starship uh, here. And then I'm gonna turn this over to Jake to kind of walk you through a brief demonstration of our um, Business Central uh, 365 in Starship integration. And then we'll turn it uh, over back to Megan for any questions you may have on the integration uh, or Starship in general. So uh, with that being said, we'll kind of go into the next slide. <clears throat> so just to kind of give everyone a little bit of background for those of you not aware who V Technologies is and Starship. Um, v Technologies was founded back in 1987. Uh, Starship itself has been around since 1989. Uh, so well over 30 years experience um, in the integrated shipping um, solutions world um, and have made many, many advancements. And over those you know, 30 plus years, we've had over 10,000 companies use our application uh, via mostly on-premise since our cloud solution is uh, a few years old now. Uh, but again, we've uh, you know, worked in many different ERP spaces and accounting spaces, uh, but all have worked in the Microsoft space, especially for GP, um, uh, for those of you who are using GP today, uh, really since the 1990s. Um, so again, you know, back, you know, 21 years ago is kind of when we started our, you know, a journey in the dynamics world, um, you know, providing those plug and play connectors in the GP space. Uh, and then kind of um, recently over the last few years, uh, integrated into the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central space. Um, and we'll go into the next slide here a little bit. So kind of highlighting really the top four features, you know, why a, a company uh, would use Starship in their, you know, shipping environment. Um, really, when, you know, look at Starship, if you're not familiar with it, it's really a multi-carrier platform. Uh, it's designed to help you ship your parcel and your LTL uh, carriers um, in one place. Um, so you don't have to go to multiple platforms uh, and basically provide, <clears throat> um, you know, the redundancy that we see of entering the same information to get a simple rate quote or getting a bill lading or a parcel label out the door. It's really helping design to streamline that process and really kind of put everything in one place for the users to uh, benefit and speed up that processing time for them. Um, we also look at the um, reducing your freight spend, right? By having a multi-carrier strategy, um, we're basically looking at, you know, the rate shopping functionality that's built into Starship and providing you with those, um, you know, one-stop shop to seeing all of your carriers together but more importantly, maybe even looking at the discounted postage rates that we can provide to you uh, through our application. So some of those users who are using, say, UPS and FedEx and shipping lightweight products may benefit from shipping it via post office. So you'll be able to see that in one place and make that educated decision of using, you know, whichever carrier fits your need. And then we also kind of look at, you know, from an e-commerce strategy, um, we're kind of looking at various e-commerce integration. So Starship has the ability of connecting into multiple different uh, e-commerce platforms and marketplaces today. Um, so a lot of times we talk to a business central user, um, they might be using a Shopify cart or an Amazon or eBay um, for e-commerce orders, uh, and they may be flowing those into their business central space today. Starship has the capability of connecting back into business central, but also maybe providing the tracking information and updated status inside those applications as well. We call that e-commerce as an extension. Uh, but we also have the ability of providing a direct integration as well if needed. And then lastly, we look at simplifying the paperwork, right? Paperwork is a big common, uh, you know, pain point for a lot of users. Um, having front office providing a commercial invoice, a bill of lading, a packing slip um, for shipment, getting crisscrossed in transit from the front office to back warehouse. Starship can simplify that by having all the details needed for the shipment producing your shipping labels, producing those commercial invoices for international, the bill of lading, especially for any hazardous paperwork, especially um, we can generate. So keeping all of that together in one place and printing that together has really streamlined the process for a lot of companies um, and avoiding any errors or penalties being assessed uh, by the carriers themselves. <clears throat> As I mentioned a moment ago, you know, Starship um, has always been really an on-premise based solution for, you know, 30 years or so. Um, we developed our cloud-based solution. Uh, we started the work back in 2016, uh, completed the work in 2020, um, launched our cloud solution for Starship back in 2020, April, right, actually right prior to COVID. 
uh, hitting um, our, 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 our world. Um, and so when we look at our cloud solution since that time to where we are today, uh, we have several hundred customers using the uh, cloud application today with um, Starship. Um, and obviously Business Central being a cloud application itself, um, our cloud application is running on our Microsoft Azure environment. Um, and again, that's kind of a nice fit having a cloud to cloud application in place. Um, it is a true multi-tenant application offering that multi um, SaaS offering, or I'm sorry, the monthly SaaS offering options available to you. Um, you do have the ability of paying annually um, to getting a discount as a user as well. Um, and then also including all of our parcel carriers, which is a change from our on-premise software. Um, and then potentially having the additional option to adding all of our LTL carrier integrations um, as part of the subscription. Um, so again, that's a huge change from what we were accustomed to with on-premise, buying everything by module, um, where we're just providing it to you for a monthly subscription. You also get access to all of our e-commerce integrations as part of our cloud subscription, um, and then also a 30-day trial um, to try out the solution as well before you actually pay us anything for licensing. So again, having all of this available, making sure it's going to be the right fit for your business is truly the um, you know, the path forward as we're seeing part of the digital transformation journey a lot of customers are making. Um, and we're seeing probably 90% or more of our users take um, the uh, cloud solution um, over on-premise today. And just as a quick slide, just to kind of represent the various LT, uh, LTL and parcel carriers we represent. Um, so again, we have about 25-ish uh, carriers here. Um, some of them are 3PLs, right? So Worldwide Express, Freight View, Freight Quote is listed on here. Um, again, if you're using any one of these carrier options modules, um, we do have an API with these carriers. We can provide you those rates inside of Starship um, that you have with those carriers. So again, um, having again one place to rate shop quickly, which Jake will take you through in a moment. Um, so again, if you don't, if your carrier is not listed here, um, it's not, we can't work with you. We do have options with our, either a bill of lading module for LTL um, to be, basically provide you a document and get some freight cost information into the solution. Um, but again, there is options available to you that we can discuss offline if needed. <clears throat> and then lastly is basically just a slide here to talk a little bit about the e-commerce integrations. So again, we can see here the majority of the big players, the Shopify of the world, big commerce, WooCommerce, Amazon, a lot of these that are on here are all either supported directly or as an e-commerce as an extension I mentioned earlier. And I'm gonna pass it now over to Jake um, so he can kind of take us through a quick um, demonstration of our um, Business Central integration with Starship. And then we'll kind of open it up for any questions anyone may have for us. So Jake, floor is yours. Awesome, thank you for that, Simon. Uh, good afternoon, good morning, everyone. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is just walk you through a pretty standard and high level parcel workflow through Starship and then with the right back into Business Central and how the integration works. Um, so what you're seeing right now on the screen here is just the Starship home screen, which is our cloud-based application where all you'll need to access this is through a Chrome browser here. So what you see now is a list of orders that have been released with inside of Business Central across the board here. So you can ship off of orders, invoices, um, order lines with through Business Central, and they're all gonna come here on this main home screen. And so what you have here is you have a filter bar up here where you're able to filter any kind of filter on here. You can filter off uh, ship to name, location, um, order date, however you wanna kind of narrow down this data to ship off of, Starship gives you that ability to do so. Also, any of these bolded words up here, you can add as many as you'd like or take off as many as you'd like. So you're able to configure the screen however you want to, to really be able to see that data or see these orders however you need to, to ship and process effectively. Now to pull an order, all you're gonna need to do in here is key in the order number in the top here. You can also scan a barcode that brings up the order as well, or you can hit the truck icon here, which will bring in the single view screen of that specific order that came over from Dynamics 365. So what you see here is just the single screen view of all the information that came over from Dynamics. So Starship will bring over address information, header information, carrier information, um, item information, however you have it configured, this is what's gonna come up to your first screen. So up in the top left, you'll see the source here. 
this is basically just a check and balance to make sure that you are shipping the correct order everything looks good in that aspect of it you also see your applied charges here i'll get into that as we get further onto the demo you also see your sender this is essentially where is it coming from so most often a lot of our customers but if you have any drop ship scenarios or doing any drop shipping on a daily basis starship can house different address ids that can come over from um, business central and that can be auto populated in there as well next you have your recipient that's just essentially where is it going um, you won't notice up here in the top right there is a green check mark that's just the address verification that's working on the back end of starship to make sure that this address is verified you verify it through the post office so this is just giving you a check saying hey you're good to go if the address is not verified through the post office then what's going to happen is you're going to see a red red x up there and just giving you kind of a heads up say hey double check that address before you ship and process um, by all means you're still able to ship and process but it's just giving you the necessary heads up before you do to maybe check with your customer and make sure they gave you the correct um, address before you ship and process. But you're also going to notice here as well, Starship has a secondary address verification with business without a loading dock. That's just making sure that you're aware that this recipient does not have a loading dock. So if I'm doing an LTL shipment, I need to make sure I book a carrier with a lift gate so I don't have any charges on the back end for failure of delivery or failure of equipment. It's just making sure that you know ahead of time. Okay. Next, you have your transportation. This is just the agent and the service that came over from Dynamics. You're able to change the carrier and service in the screen as well. And if you do change it over here, it will be changed on the right back with inside of Dynamics. So it has that reverse value translation. If you're doing any third party billing off your customers' accounts, this is where you have that added here. But the great thing about Starship is Starship can recognize a specific customer coming over from Dynamics. And this third party billing address and information can be auto populated in here as well. So you won't have to manually enter it every single time, really just making that process very streamlined and automated for you. Next, you have your shipment details. This is kind of any accessorials that you want to add to your specific orders or your specific shipments. Um, so you see if you had insurance to your orders. We can have this insurance box checked off by creating a specific rule saying any order over $500, I wanna make sure that insurance box is checked off. So my team doesn't have to go in there, check that box off every single time. It can just be handled through Starship and Starship can handle that piece of our accessorial kind of aspect of their specific orders. Now, as we move forward, we jump into packaging here. This is just the items that came over from Dynamics that have been placed into boxes. Um, Starship has a packaging database that can house all of the information related to the specific packages that you use on a daily basis. You can filter and add whichever package you'd like to if you need to add a specific box up here. It kind of gives you the ability to, to move around different products and make sure this is packed the way you need to. Um, you see here that we kind of we give you actual weight and billable weight. Billable weight is going to be based off the dimensions of the product. That's just so you know up front what you'll be built off of. Um, by all means, you don't have to have dimensions with inside of Starship, but making sure you upfront know the billable weight so you don't have a, any charges on the back end, it can definitely be a game changer for you as well. And Starship also has the ability to give you access to a parcel scale. So if you have a parcel scale in your warehouse, Starship can connect that as well. So you make sure that you get that actual weight accurate every single time. Next, you have your line items. This is just the line item integration that Starship has uh, for the items that came over from Dynamics. So this is where all the information for these specific items will be housed from value for, to um, NMFC in class, just giving you any hazardous profiles that you have. So you don't have to enter all this information in every single time. Starship houses it in its, in its inventory database. So any item level information that you have can be housed here. So you know that when this order comes over from Dynamics, all the information related to that specific item will be inside of Starship, ready to ship and process for international documentation or hazmat documentation, whatever you're currently doing on a day-to-day -day basis now. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, we have our total charges up there that say applied charges, but what Starship has here is the total charges as a whole. Um, we can show list rates in this section as well, but right now we're just showing contracted and applied. And what your contracted rates are, are just your contracted rates with your specific carrier. So us bringing in, pinging your carrier's APIs to your carrier accounts, bringing that rate in for you so you can see it from your specific contracts 
But then we also have the applied rates here. This is any sort of freight rule that you want to add to your specific operation. So you can add specific markups or free shipping or handling fees for different customers. You can have a freight rule across the board for your whole operation, or you can have it more narrowed down specific to specific customers if you want. Um, just for our example here, we just have a markup of 25% across the board, just making sure we have a little bit of markup in case there's an issue in transit and we have to kind of make a, pay for a charge on the back end. And say you're looking at this rate and you're thinking, okay, I want to check my carrier accounts, make sure that I'm getting the right, you know, best best rate or the quickest delivery. You'll come down here, hit shop all, and that's going to begin pinging the APIs of all of the carrier accounts that you have that we're integrated with. Up in the top left here of the rate quote section, you can filter by requested delivery day. So you have a certain day that you need to have this delivered by. You can filter by that and it'll bring up all the rates of the carriers who can get it to that location by a specific time. Starship can also have different rate shop scenarios. So we can also provide you a, a best option kind of rule with inside of Starship. So it can bring in um, different, you know, cheapest rate right off the bat or quickest delivery. So your team won't have to make this decision every single time. Once the order comes over from Dynamics, it'll pick the cheapest op option from your carrier accounts and you'll be ready to ship and process right ahead. So looking at it now, we're looking at our carrier accounts and services. We notice, okay, UPS Ground is still the best option for this order. It might not be the quickest, but it's the cheapest. We're going to go with that and move forward with UPS Ground. So once you've awarded that business to UPS Ground, all you're going to do is hit ship and process. And this is going to begin printing the necessary documentation needed um, for that specific order from packing slips and labels to BOLs for LTL, international documentation of commercial invoices, or any hazmat documentation that you're using can be configured to your specific you know, thermal printer or laser printer. Whatever you're currently using now, we'll be able to configure that too. So now that we have shipped and processed this specific order, I'm gonna jump back into Dynamics and show you what that write back would look like and how Starship plays into Dynamics here. I'm gonna pull up the sales order here now that we just shipped and processed to show you what that write back would look like. So what you see here is the order that has been shipped and processed and the write back has successfully happened with inside of Dynamics. Uh, you notice here, we write back at the freight amount into the line item section here. So you can see the freight amount that's been charged with the markup. So you can see that there, know what you're paying for that specific order. Um, then you move down here, we also write back into the package tracking, num packing trackage section with the tracking number of that specific order. But then you're also gonna come down here and look at the Starship widget that we have with inside of Dynamics. Um, we write back just basic information into the specific um, notes section here that we can customize for you to be able to show what you want to see um, from a specific information aspect. So we basically just show when it was shipped on, estimated delivery time, carrier, um, package count, of course, the tracking number, again, of that specific order. But then we also write back the contracted rate as well as the list right here, just giving you to be able to see what your contracted rate was from that specific order. So you can do some reconciliation to make sure, hey, I'm making money on this shipment. If I'm not making money, maybe we need to add a specific freight rule that's going to, you know, increase that markup for that customer or, you know, change some pricing around. Just make sure it gives you kind of the ability to see what's going on from a pricing aspect on your end. And then down here, we also have a link that jumps right back into Starship. If anyone needs to jump into Dynamics and see that order with inside of Starship, they can click this link here and that will take them back into Starship for that specific order that was shipped. So that right there is a pretty standard workflow of a parcel order that's been shipped through Starship and then written back into Dynamics. Now, um, before we jump over to questions and everything with Megan, I'm going to um, jump back into Starship and show you a few of the bells and whistles that come along pretty standard with Starship. So what I'm taking you to now is the e-notify tool in section of Starship. This is our customized emails that we have with inside of Starship that you have at your disposal. Um, so you'll be able to customize different branded emails. Um, you can have them kind of one generic email across the board. You can also have specific customer emails. You can have um, documentation be shipped to or emailed to your customers. It just gives you the ability to kind of, you know, open up the aspect of this EDS emails for you. It says, hey, here's the tracking number for you, the item count that's coming your way. So please just feel free to take a look at this email. It just takes off the manual process of copying and pasting that tracking information into an email and emailing your customers. The Starship can take care of that piece for you. 
And then final, finally, we have some dashboarding. This is just some basic reporting that comes standard with Starship. Um, this just gives you kind of a heat map of all of your distribution points, as well as some different charts and graphs um, of total costs, total orders. You can configure this screen and really look to see how whatever you want to see from a reporting aspect of you know, shipments by customer or by location, however you want to use this reporting aspect, you have it at your disposal. And along with this basic reporting, Starship also has some deeper dive reporting that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis if needed, where you have your charge comparison, where you can check between your applied and contracted rates, um, giving you the ability to see if I have any negatives in that area, I can check and make sure my freight rules are in line. It just gives you a lot of different aspects and reporting that you have at your disposal to really make sure you're getting the most out of Starship and using the most to check kind of your carrier accounts that you have. Um, so that right there is pretty much the ins and outs of Starship, a little pretty high level kind of overview um, of what you've seen from a parcel workflow. So that's all I have really to show you today. Thank you all for joining today and I really appreciate your time.